anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis usually has a relatively good outcome and generally low rate of relapses. Although the disease can be very severe in the acute phase, often requiring admission to the intensive care unit. Therefore, disease recurrences represent a worrying prospect in the disease course. My name is Margherita Nosadini. I'm a pediatric neurologist and I work in Italy. We conducted a study on relapses and on relapse risk factors in anti and MADA receptor encephalitis which is going to be published in the September 2019 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. This is a retrospective multicenter Italian study, uh, including 62 children. Of these 62 patients, 13 had a relapsing course, that is 21%, and the remaining 49 patients had a monophasic disease. In these 13 relapsing patients, a total of clinic 31 clinical events occurred, including both onset events and relapses. And four of these 13 relapsing children had more than one relapse. Disease severity was lower at relapse than at onset, both in terms of median modified ranking scale and in terms of a lower rate of admission to the intensive care unit. This is the disease course in the 13 patients with relapsing disease. The blue triangles represent disease events, both onset events and relapses. As you can see, time to relapse was very variable. Although median time between onset and first relapse was 31.5 months. In the four patients with multiple relapses, median time between onset and last event was 97 months. That is, the disease may span over a long time. In order to identify factors associated with risk of relapse, we conducted an analysis of survival from relapse, including demographics, clinical data, investigations, and immune therapy at first event. In our study, disease severity in the acute phase was not associated with risk of relapsing. Whereas, we observed that Patients treated with at least three different immune therapies at uh, disease onset had significantly lower risk of having a relapsing disease course. We also compared the neurological outcome at last follow-up between the subset of the 13 patients with relapsing disease and the 49 patients with monophasic disease. And we observed that neurological outcome did not differ significantly. Although follow-up duration was significantly longer in relapsing than in monophasic patients. Despite the limitations of our study, especially as regards the limited number of patients and the retrospective nature, we confirm that relapses may occur in about one-fifth of children with anti-NMADA receptor encephalitis and that they are generally milder than onset and may span over a long period. Relapses were not associated with severity in the acute phase or with outcome at follow-up. Importantly, we showed that aggressive immune therapy at onset may reduce risk of relapse, 